So now, the next rule is the product rule. Is the product rule. Now, product rule can be identified when you find something like this. For example, yeah, the function, for example, f of x, for example, now, oh, we said y, in this case, equals f of x times g of x. Meaning, you will recognize it when a function is multiplied by another what function. For example, y equals, for example, cos x sin x. This is a function of another function. O y equals to E x sin x, you see? This is a function that is another one function here in this case. So it, is, it can be recognized by through this, through what multiplication sign. So now, here, the formula I use for solving chain rule is that we say we make our first equation as u, the second as v. We can have y prime equals to u here can differentiate of this mean dv over dx. We add plus v times du all over dx. Or conventionally, you can say that f prime of x equals to what we said f of x times g prime of x as we use this plus g of x times f prime of x is all the same so the first thing is to bring out your u and your v then you differentiate u and v, then you cross multiply the two. Now, for example, here we have y equals to sine x cos x. This is an equation that we multiply sine by cos. So this question can only be solved using product rule. Which now he has said that our u, because the first one should be our u and the second one should be our v. And our u here equals to what? Sine x. And our v in this case equals to what? Cos x. Good. Remember, in the formula, you need to find dv over dx and also du over dx. We differentiate these two terms, we will obtain du over dx equals to what? Cos x. So remember the derivative of sine x is cos x. Now, then we, we do this du dv over dx equals, in this case here we have minus sine x. Because the derivative of sine cos x is minus what? Sine x. So now, remember that the formula says y prime equals what u dv over dx plus v du all over dx. From here, the y prime equals what's our u? Is sine x. times co dv over dx which is this co times minus sine x again co then our plus sign our v here is cos x co times d over dx which is what cos x 
Sometimes, for more understanding, I used to do something like this. This multiply by this, this multiply by this. Okay, now. Send x times this for x times this. So now this becomes y prime here becomes what? Sin x times sin x here, we have minus sin square x. Plus here, cos times cos, we have cos square what? x. So this is our final what? Our final what? Answer, please. Remember that sin square x square equals to 1, but what of the left sign is just leave it as we see it. So now, let's solve another question here that says that position 2. If y equals x power of 1 minus 1 all over 5 times e to the power of x. So now you see. This question is that we have to multiply this by this, meaning that our u here, we said the first one should be our u equals to what? x to the power of so the same rule that says x to the power of n equals to what? n x to the power of n minus 1. Mean here du over dx. We use that formula. We multiply this here become minus 1 all over 5 x squared. Then minus 1 all over 5 minus 1. Then here minus 1 all over 5 minus 1. We take our answer here as 5 go. 5 into this, we have minus 1 minus 5 equals to minus 6 over 5. So this means that our du over dx is equals to what? This time this we have minus x minus 6 all over 6 all is minus 6 over 5 all over 5. Remember that I said this minus 1 over 5 minus 1 is something as what? Minus 6 over 5. So now here our dv over dx equals to what ex. And by the exponent, the derivative of ex is something as ex squared. Now we bring out our formula. Y prime is equals to u, which is this code. x to the power of minus 1 all over 5 times dv over dx, which is this code. Ex. Then we have plus sign. We have v here. Our v here, which is what ex times du over the x, which is this. We have times minus x to the power of minus six all over five all over five. So we can still arrange this. It will become y prime is equal to what x power of minus one all over five e x minus and plus here we have minus e x x power of minus six all over five two all over five. If we like, we can pop two e power of x out. I have y prime equals to e to the power of x bracket this x to the power of minus 1 all over 5 minus x to the power of minus 6 all over 5 all over 5. This should be our, our final word answer.